This is the future of motoring. This is the sensational GT by Citroen. I don't think in 20 odd years of covering cars I've seen anything quite like this. It is in fact the creation of a strange marriage between Citroen and the PlayStation game maker Gran Turismo. They've produced a virtual reality game of this, but today we take that a step further. I'm actually going to take virtual reality and drive it. Well, this is it. I'm now inside. I feel as if I'm climbed in between this is the combination no of a virtual the Starship game. Enterprise We're about and a to have reality. Fighter. So here we go. First of all, we have two very impressive switches there that we get on there. And then we have that for a little color in there. And then we look to here and check that we're in neutral because we do not want to launch. And this car looks as if it could take off at any time. Here we go. As they say, we have liftoff. I'm already finding everywhere we go, we have an audience. This is the most amazing feeling I've ever had going around here. I feel as if I'm in a Formula One car. Jensen Button, watch out. Here I come. As you can see inside, it's not like any other car you've ever seen. Sitting inside here is, I don't know, it's hard to put it into words there. You've got this incredible copper center console. The instruments are down to a minimum when it comes to, you've got a head-up display in front of you, tells you what speed you're doing. And then it's just like a cockpit. It's a flurry of dials, red buttons, and it all adds to the drama of it. I've never sat in anything. I would imagine an F1 car looks a little bit like this. Uh, but this has just got something about it that is totally different. Well, it's not on sale at the moment, but Citroen say that this one-off concept cost nearly a million pounds to build, which is why I was slightly nervous behind the wheel this morning. Under the bonnet is a V8 engine that is kicking out over 510 brake horsepower. But if Citroen were to put it into production, they would use it as a showpiece for green technology and it would be powered by a fuel cell engine with four electric motors. Wow, that was without doubt the most amazing drive I've ever had. I've been on a tour of London like I've never been before. Driving this around London I might as well have landed in a spacecraft. <laughs>